RCT3 Weekly News. And I got a big announcement for you guys. I am meeting Egypt 2112 at Cedar Point. Oh, really? Yes, really. Are you sure? Yeah, quite positive. Why? Well, because Cedar Point is one of the top, is the top rated coaster park in the world. And I'm meeting Egypt. Are you sure? Yes! Yes, I am positive! Yes, I am meet Egypt 2112! I'm meeting Egypt 2112 at Cedar Point. I don't see what's not to understand about that. Oh, really? Oh my god! You son of a- <laughs> Sorry, I lost the happy, but the happy's back, and no drugs were used. See, nothing, absolutely clean, no drugs, what are you talking about? See, I don't know what you're talking about, just Hi there. I'm sorry about that guys, I just haven't been able I just haven't been able to get I just haven't been able to figure out how to get AIM on my typewriter. Nothing. As you may know, um my contest is still going on and it is in the info box. The link I did it last time, I'm gonna do it again this time. Just rewatch. Just you watch you watch. Not you, you do. No. Yes? No. No Egypt Island. No. Uh, it looks like it's that time again. We better do this quick before that owl comes back and attacks us. Yeah. Okay, so, coming in fifth place is Omega the End by Scipio Mask. Now, Scipio Mask, uh, this is probably his best creation from what I've seen. And just there are a few problems. Just remember this all as constructive criticism. It is really smooth, not the smoothest I've seen, but pretty smooth. But uh, a lot of supports go through the tracks, a lot of them. And also, you may want to work on a different style of scenery with that. I mean, because I've seen all, I've seen uh, basically all the coasters I've, I've seen of yours have that mist at the bottom, and you may want to jump ahead to a different scenery style too. I don't know, just throwing that out there. But it is pretty smooth. Um, lot to work on, but I can see, I can see potential right here. Okay, so, coming in fourth place is Adrenaline. Okay, now Adrenaline is, uh, pretty unique, I will say that. But it's also pretty unrealistic. Yeah, sorry about that, but, uh, uh, it's definitely thrilling, but it's also definitely not something you would see in a park. Uh, the loops are too high, uh, I know it sounds kind of like I'm criticizing more than I'm adding, but it's just very unique, um, I like the plan with it, the plan works out, but, uh, great plan, not very well executed, uh, does need a lot of work, but it's, scenery's pretty good, I like the scenery, it fits the coaster, definitely fits the coaster, and, well, just... Not all that realistic. I've seen a lot more realistic ones. But basically, great coaster. Love the scenery. The scenery definitely works with the coaster. Uh, it's a basic scenery to go with the coaster. It just works. You now, I was looking at the comments board, and apparently, this is supposed to be just a side project. If I were you, Tettle Skin, I would not pass it off as just a side project. Because it definitely looks like a full-fledged 
Costa. And something I like, I'm not sure if this was meant on purpose, but the scenery is completely jumbled. Like, there was no main theme. And I like that. I don't know why. It's just one of them coasters. One of those coasters, sorry. It's just one of those coasters that just works perfectly to have jumbled scenery. Um, none of it makes a bit of sense to go with the coaster. That's good. I mean, uh, not all coasters could pull that off. This one does. Uh, not all designers could pull that off. That one does. So, wait, coaster. Uh, love the scenery, the way it works in. And I also like the layout. Layout's pretty good. So, coming in second place is Starlight by Coasterman59. Now, uh, as I've said before, Coasterman has uh, Coaster News out. It's about real coasters. Check it out, why not? Um, so, it's, this coaster is pretty good. Um, I like the main idea. The main idea, you don't see things like this all that often. I mean, I've seen a couple with the same type. But I've never really seen the way this coaster works. I don't know why it sticks out to me. It's just really good coaster. Uh, really hard to describe. Um, just um, it's a night coaster. Night coaster. Uh, never really much of a fan of night coasters. I don't know why. I like I like it in the day. Uh, but if you get it good enough, you got me in the night. So great night coaster. Um, it definitely could not be a day coaster. It's one of those cannot be a day coaster. So it's not a day coaster. You see? See how that works? And coming in first place is Iron Bird. I have three syllables. Three words. Oh. My. God. This is possibly one of the greatest flyers to ever been thought of. It is just an absolutely incredible, incredible amazing, incredible amazing coaster. That is my new word. Incredible amazing, incredible amazing coaster, incredible amazing coaster. So it is an incredible amazing coaster. The layout, beautiful. The scenery, beautiful. The layout and scenery mixture, beautiful. The layout, scenery and coaster mixture, incredible amazing. Absolutely incredible coaster. This needs no words to describe it. This is just beautiful. -E Absolutely incredible amazing. Incred amazing. That is my new word. Incredible amazing. Beautiful coaster. Beautiful scenery. Beautiful layout.